uh, my lower back. It was uh, it's been a little tight since I've been training, mm -hmm. um, as of late especially. Um, like when I do, I do a lot of plyometric workouts, so I feel like a, a slight pinch, like right above my glute. Okay. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. Normally, I could like crack it myself and know okay. it get better momentarily, but gotcha. it normally doesn't last too long. So I want to, you know, get to overall 100% uh, health like before I actually go down and, and get mm -hmm. going. Cool. When do you go down? Uh, March 15th is when I'll be leaving. Camp mm -hmm. starts on the 18th. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. When's the season start? Uh, the season. I think the first game is uh um the second week of April. If okay. I'm not mistaken. So, and it goes all the way to July. So. This is your first season? It is. Yes, sir. Awesome, uh -huh. man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah. One of my favorite things is to take care of athletes. Really? Because it's just such a, um, there's such a high demand mm -hmm. and it's for, on the body. Right. And it's not like being a kid athlete anymore. You know, high school and even college athletes. But once you turn 20, 22, 23 and you start yeah. to... It affects your body much differently, the recovery time. And so exactly. all athletes are looking for the edge. You yeah. know, all the top athletes, they want to do How do they stay on top? How do they be the best? Right. And so it's uh, chiropractic is extremely common. All the NFL teams, all the MLB teams, they all have a resident chiropractor who's adjusting all the players. Right. So it makes sense, especially for football. All right, so low back, you feel it on the left side more than the right? Le yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely the left side. Um, it started off, actually, I noticed it last summer. Um, I was doing like some field workouts with a few of my friends, former teammates, um, at least two or three times a week. And when I went out there one day in particular, it felt like just a soreness from a previous workout, okay. which normally goes away after like a, a couple of days or so. But this one in particular didn't go away um, as soon as I figured it would. It turned from like what was like I said a muscle soreness to like that little uh, sharp pain, mm -hmm. and um, it doesn't like hinder me from working out or anything. But I definitely would like to have it resolved, and also mm -hmm. uh, hope I hope it doesn't like you know um, progress into something more serious. Okay. So. All right. Does the pain ever travel? Does it ever go down your leg, side of the leg, back of your leg, to the front? I wouldn't say so. Luckily, it just stays in that one central area. Okay, um, it doesn't really, you know, travel or anything. It's just that one, that one uh, point. All right. How's the rest of your spine? Upper back, neck. Um. Yeah. For the most part, everything is good. Like I don't really have any discomfort unless I like you know work out and then mm -hmm. like just the soreness. But other than yeah. that, it's nothing abnormal. Okay. Good. Muscle soreness is okay, mm -hmm. of course. All right. Uh, ankles, knees. Ankles are fine, knees, same thing. Um, I know, I, I spoke to my trainer when I played at, in college at Bowie State. Um, sometimes when I do a lot of, well, when I walk downstairs and like kind of do like a rapid squat, my knees kind of make like a, a clicking noise. Okay. Um, it's no pain, which is confusing to me, but uh, she said that's kind of natural just with like, um, I, I can't even quote it. I'm not even going to try to. But okay. she, uh, she pretty much told me that's something that's natural and it's nothing to worry about necessarily. Right. All right. Yeah, if it doesn't hurt and it's only, you know, very particular times like that, usually keep watching it. Right. Make sure it doesn't progress to pain or progress to more clicking or something mm -hmm. of that nature. Right. All right. So, um, any headaches ever? No headaches. Okay, no, very good. Um, yeah. Are you on any pharmaceuticals right now? No, sir. Any surgeries ever? No, sir. Any major accidents or injuries? No, sir. Okay. Have you ever been adjusted before? Uh, I have, actually. Um... I want to say in the year 2012, okay. um, I was in the car accident with my, my mother was driving. It was a pickup truck, so it wasn't any serious damage done to, to us necessarily. Um, they hit the flatbed uh, of the truck and um, the insurance allowed us to get uh, chiropractic uh, treatment whenever for the next six weeks we uh went like a couple times a week and got adjusted and it was great has anyone else looked at your low back has your trainer looked at it or um is there any x-rays of it i don't think i've had any x-rays done in years actually but um as far as just anything outside of like a, a routine physical not much okay. um when i was playing it in college again uh we had to get physicals yearly so um, they would just do like a really quick check and make sure everything is mm -hmm. is acceptable to play, but um, nothing nothing like actually in depth. I don't think. All right, let's do an exam on your spine and get you adjusted. Okay. Sure. Yes, sir. Awesome. Man. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. All right, go ahead and march in place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
All right, go ahead and stop. Stand up nice and tall. Of course, just noticing postural sway here. Very subtle movements. A little bit of a lateral sway to the left there. Can you feel that? Um, Did you feel it going off to the side just a little bit? Not necessarily. Okay. All right, turn around and face the other way, please. Right, let's do this. Go ahead and bend forward and touch your toes. Okay, no curvatures there. Go ahead and stand up for mm -hmm. me. That's good, Naka. I'll move your hair mm -hmm. off the side here. Good, Naka. Okay, chin up. Just look straight ahead. Nice and gentle. Very consistent, very symmetrical. No curvatures, no lateral deviations from the left or right. Muscle tone is very symmetrical, both sides here. I'm gonna use the back of my fingers, test the temperature. But we definitely increase heat as we come down. The, more, the further down we get, the hotter it gets. Like these muscles here, are working much harder and then these muscles here are working even harder yet mm -hmm. and then right here I can kind of feel on the right side but you said this is on the left side right yes sir on the left side this is really the only asymmetry here is a little bit more of a uh, your muscles are just a, ten, a little bit more prominent a little bit more tense on the right lumbar mm. and that's okay you know no one's perfectly symmetrical Malcolm everyone's got a little bit everyone's a little bit off didn't you ever see that thing where if they cut your face in half and then they post the two sides together, you look like a serial killer or something? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It's funny you say that too because uh, like I've actually uh, felt the, the tension in my back too because mm -hmm. um, I've been trying to put emphasis on uh, a particular lower back workouts and afterwards I feel... The, the the muscle tension, but it's not necessarily comfortable. I don't know yeah. if I'm, I'm uh, overworking it or not, but mm, mm -hmm. it definitely feels as though it's something that should be done. Yeah, good. All right, let's look, looking at the SI joint over here. Do we have any tenderness here? Not necessarily tenderness, but uh, around that area is where the, um, the pain that I described is gotcha. centralized. Do, do these feel similar right to left here? Um, for the most part, okay. yeah. All right, I'm going to uh, contact the top of the iliac, iliac crest here. This helps locate the L4, L5. Good. All right, let's come out to the side just a little bit more on this left side. And these are all the glute attachments here to the top of the iliac crest. And you actually don't have any glute trigger points on mm -hmm. this left side, which I, which was suspect when you first mentioned it. But the muscle seems to be clear here, which is very good. We're just going to have to look a little bit deeper at the pelvis. Let's do this. Turn to the left for me, please. Mm -hmm. good I'm just going to push like that. Any tenderness there? No, sir. Here? Mm -mm. Good. Let's turn to the right. Good. Tenderness there? No, sir. Good, one more here. Mm -hmm. Go okay, straight ahead. All right, that's good. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your, move your knees away from each other. Away. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now close them back up. Good, open. Good, we have good dropping on the right side here. Close. And then the left is just not as much. One more time, open. Good. Go ahead and march in place. Okay, good, looking at the back muscles first. Very symmetrical movement from left to right here. You can see the counter contraction on the right when the left leg picks up and the left when the right leg picks up and that's perfect. Okay, now stop. I'm gonna do a glute fiber check. So you're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Okay. I'm gonna trace this up to the glute fold here. We're slightly lower on the right and higher on the left. Looking for the top, there's very little asymmetry. Uh, if it was on the left, it would be an IN, so possibly ASIN on the left here just based on the pain. Maybe a little bit of pronation on the left side, a little bit more than the right. A little yeah. bit of a dropped arch on the left. Has anyone ever told you that before? Um, Actually, uh, I feel like I should have mentioned that before, but when I was uh, younger, mm -hmm. um, I had to get custom orthotics because my doctor told me I had flat feet. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a problem uh, coming into high school. I used to have uh, ankle and hip pain. Okay. 
But um, after using, uh, he, he recommended that I use a foam roller. And after like using that for um, just a couple of weeks at a time, um, it, the pain completely disappeared. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna do a leg length first. We're just checking mm -hmm. to see the difference in leg length. Short. I'm gonna push down into your sacrum here, Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Is there any pressure, discomfort here? No, sir. Here. Mm -mm. Here. No, sir. Good. Here. Left feel the same as right? Um, the left feels a little different. I'm not entirely sure how to <laughs> describe it. Okay, different's fine. All right, what about this one here? Any tenderness, discomfort? No. Well, the, the good news is is that there are no red flags here for sure. I mean, your spine is very straight, mm -hmm. symmetrical. There's no curvatures or deviations. There's no pinched nerves here, no herniated discs. And so this also feels like a very dynamic condition to where your muscles probably have to be fatigued and you have to be uh, working this pretty hard for you to feel it, um, which leans us towards muscular, uh, muscular origin. Mm -hmm. uh, possibly ligament your SI joint on the left definitely needs to be adjusted even if the muscle is tight or if that's where the injury is adjusting the sacrum on this side will help normalize the resting length of that muscle right and uh, perform better mm. oh. good down and we'll give a left hip like this down so the right leg is a little bit shorter than the left but once I put the blocks underneath of it, and we go back and check, we're evened out. So that means you don't really have a short leg here, you just have like a twist in your hips, mm -hmm. and then I untwisted it with the blocks, and now things are uh, lined up. So that's like a normal thing, it's a normal human being thing, right. everyone has it, you don't have some kind of weird condition that you have to go home <laughs> and Google or anything. Yeah, I was, I was kind of worried there for a second. How are we doing here? Is this tender? Um, just a bit. More so than this side or this side too? Oh, that side as well, yes sir. Other pressure, okay? That's fine. What's that? That's fine.
Is that right there? Mm hmm. This is a good chart for this. It's yeah. Gonna, perfect, yeah. yeah. But like it's always, but it's the, the texture of it. It's like, oh, really? it's like almost a DJ scratching. <laughs> You know, it's every music's everywhere. All the time.
nice gentle breathing. I'm just gonna stretch the spine here. Okay, let's practice one first, just so you can feel what it's like. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna breathe in through your nose, good, now through your mouth. Good, I'm gonna follow your breath down like this, Malcolm, and then at the end of your breath, we're gonna give a little push like that. Okay. All right, good. I'm gonna push a little bit faster this time. So let's do that again, deep breath in. Good, and out. Go let the shoulders sink in, good. Okay, not bad, right? <laughs> yep. That was a good start. All right, now, this guy. I'm gonna lower the headpiece down just a little bit like mm -hmm. that, decrease the tension. Okay, so yeah. just like the other ones, I'm gonna follow your breath. Same thing, deep breath in through your nose, and end out. Good, sinking in, let the shoulders sink in. One segment down, do that again, deep breath in, and end out. Good, sinking in, shoulders sinking in. Still movement. This one's a little bit different. This time I'm gonna move your head to the side and just kind of like let this relax. Just let your shoulders relax. Gotta let your head and neck just kind of sink in here. Mm -hmm. Here, bring your head face back to center. Good. Okay, one more time. Let me move your head here like this. Go let this relax. Let your shoulder relax. Good. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah, like that right there. This one's a little bit different. This time you're gonna take a deep breath in, mm -hmm. and then at the top of your breath is when we push, when you start to breathe out, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's do that deep breath in, far in as you can go. Good, now let your shoulders sink as you breathe out. Go, let it go, let your back go. your knees mm -hmm. don't help me let me do the work okay good good right short and then it crosses over so we do have a right pi interesting so your pelvis is telling me that the main issue is on the right here even though the pain's on the left mm. let's just do this this is actually a pregnancy test but sometimes it works for people <laughs> for non-pregnant people Yes, we're definitely restricted on the right here. Okay, so we'll adjust that first then. We're gonna start on the right side here. So as you breathe, I'm gonna bring your shoulders up in this direction like that. Okay. I'm gonna bring your hip down to right about there. So it's already moving already, that's mm -hmm. good. But that happens on its own usually, right? Yeah. That's like what usually happens, okay. Mm -hmm. So there's more. So we're gonna bring this down here, shoulders up this way, and then push like that, okay? Okay. All right, good. Deep breath in, Malcolm. Good, end out. Good, we're gonna bring this up here, shoulders like this. Good, a little bit more. There's more, hold on. 
Lay on your back. <laughs> All right, same thing here. We're gonna bend the top leg. Good, I'm gonna speak a little bit like that. And pull this down here like this. Good, here to here. Okay, breathe, same thing, breathing. Good, shoulder's gonna come up this way. We're gonna pull the, sh the hip down to about here and then push like that. Okay, deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, sinking, good. Shoulders, good, good. Lay on your back. All right, so this is how we check the neck. Okay, nice and gentle. Just turn your head to the right. Good, center. Now to the left. Good, center. Okay, bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Okay, center. Right ear. Center. It's so interesting how you can check my neck. You mm -hmm. can <laughs> like waste on my feet. Don't forget to tag me. Okay. <laughs> I was driving home the other day and I was sitting at a red light and I was just like just going at it with the song. I don't even remember what song it was, just dancing. Mm -hmm. And I opened my eyes and I looked next to me and the girl was like, this was fun. <laughs> I rolled down my window I was like, tag me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do one more range of motion here. Mm -hmm. Lifting over or lifting, bringing to the side. So the whole thing here is what you wanna to try to do is just, you wanna let it mm -hmm. let it mm -hmm. drop like that, okay? Okay. I'll move you over to the side. You don't have to help me and then just let it go. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Does that do that usually or is it just because you're relaxed? Um, I would assume just because I'm relaxed. I normally don't, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like that. Mm -hmm. That was crazy, actually. That was just like the biggest clunk, and it was mm -hmm. just from this little bit of movement to the side. Right. That was really cool. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the right side. Mm -hmm. Nice and gentle breathing, and just let your head and shoulders sink in. Okay, I'm gonna bring your head over to the side. We're gonna go right about there, Malcolm, and then mm -hmm. right from here, we're gonna push like that, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, good breathing in, good and out. Good, sinking in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I never get used to that. <laughs> it feels great though. Okay, 
right, so we're gonna do the left side now. I'm gonna check the left side first. Mm -hmm. So just kind of like sinking in, I'm gonna bring this over. Seven, six, five, four, three, four. Go right in mm -hmm. here at four. Okay, let's go all the way up to one, two, is okay, I'm okay with that. One more time. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. But sinking in. Good, let it all sink. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna crack your toes now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so this is an ankle adjustment. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring your foot like this in this position. We're gonna pull down like that, okay? Okay. Okay, deep breath in. Go let that out. That's sinking in. Mmm. It's in there, it needs it. All right, so we start with the ileocecal valve. This is the window in between the large and the small intestine. Is it still tender? Mm. When was the last time you ate? <laughs> <laughs> so we should be in the colon by now. Mm. Do you work out six days a week? Uh, not six. I try to, uh, you know, um, get the proper rest in too, so. Mm. Here, tuck this underneath here. Oh, okay. I um, actually work at a gym, so I have a free membership. I work there four days a week, so I always work out directly after my shift, so gotcha. at least four days. Mm -hmm. mm. How many calories a day do you eat? Do you track it? Not, I don't track it. <clears throat> um, as of late, I've been just trying to up my calorie intake, though, just to get back to my, my comfortable playing weight. Mm -hmm. It's around like 225-ish. Right now I'm like 222. Okay. Do you, so do you have any supplements, any vitamins, herbs, minerals? Um, I don't normally take any vitamins or anything like that. Um, my, one of my friends, um, in order to support his business, he, he works with um, people who like provide um, supplements for athletes and things like that. I mm -hmm. um, bought some of his immune boosting gummies. And I've been taking those for about close to a month now. But other than that, not really. Okay. What is it? It's like an elderberry? It is elderberry and lemon. Okay, let's do some deep belly breaths here. Breathe into your belly. Good, there you go. Out. Good. Yeah, just let the chest be quiet when you when you breathe. Don't move your chest at all. Just push your belly out. Good. Just like that. It's perfect. <laughs> Good again in. In. Mm 
going to use a towel here to support your neck. Mm. Lift up your head. Good. And down. Good. Let's see your arms here. And the pole, make sure you're nice and tight here. Good. Okay, so we're going to use the towel. I'm going to mm -hmm. wrap this around your neck like this. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing this. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, uh, a nice and gentle breathing. And just following your breath, we're going to move in that direction and traction your spine in this way. Good, good breath there. And shoulders and hips just sinking into the table. Good. Yep, keep your teeth together. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that was amazing. Good. Squeeze. Good. Just relax here. Go with the elbow. Come down this way. Mm. <laughs> Forward just a little bit. I'm gonna bring your yeah. Good. That. I'm gonna bring your shoulder up like this. Mm. Good. <laughs> Same thing, lean forward here, good. Just relax loose. Good. Feel. It was great. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, uh, the the little sharp pain that was in my hip. Yeah. Um, although I felt it primarily while working out, I can definitely feel it like just on regular day to day movement. I really don't feel it at all. It feels uh -huh. yeah, like it's been completely um, alleviated. Is based on the adjustment.